Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane back again for another Stock Pick of the Day video. It is November 22nd, day before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Hopefully you have a great day with your family and friends. We are going to take a look at one out of the material sector. Lionel Basil, let's jump right into the video. If you want to know more about this company, check them out at www.lyondobasil.com. That is www.lyondelbasel.com. That is their homepage where I pulled this information from. Who we are? We are Lyondo Basil, a leader in the global chemical industry, creating solutions for everyday sustainable living through advanced technology and focused investments. We are enabling a circular and low carbon economy. Across all we do, we aim to unlock value for our customers, investors, and society as one of the world's largest producers of polymers and a leader in polyethylene technologies. We develop, manufacture, and market high quality and innovative products for applications ranging from sustainable transportation and food safety to clean water and quality health care. So that is really what they do, right? They provide a lot of products around plastics, uh, chemicals, polymers, advanced polymers, cut that off, but advanced polymers, fuels, and technologies. So that's probably around the chips, right? Whenever you look at a, uh, a microchip, it's usually on a plastic circuit board. Uh, so they are probably providing the plastic for that circuit board. You can go into their homepage and click on each one of these and get more in detailed into the technology around each one of these sectors that they provide material for. Now, the reason we are taking a look at them, down 0.74% on the day. Not a huge drop, but a drop nonetheless. This is one in my portfolio. One of the reasons I wanted to take a look at it, we are getting towards the end of the year, entering a new year. So I like to revisit the positions in my portfolio to make sure they still meet the metrics that I'm investing for. So Lionel Basil is one in my portfolio. So we are going to take a look at it. Close off the day at $94.96. 52-week range as low as $79.20, as high as $102.05. They are floating between that 52-week low and 52-week high, maybe leaning a little bit towards the higher side. Average volume of 1.8 million. Today's was 2.5. You can see a lot of volatility throughout the day. Market cap of 30.801 billion. A beta of 1.20. So they are more volatile than the overall market. That's what beta means. It is the volatility of the market. One being the market. Anything under one less volatile. Anything over one more volatile. PE ratio price to earnings is $13.59. That's pretty low. Earnings per share EPS sitting at $6.99. That's a nice EPS for this company. Uh, earnings date February 1st through February 5th of 2024. So coming up next year, first part of next year there for dividend is $5 on the year. They are a quarterly payer, so divide by four, but we will see that here in a little bit. Nice, very nice high starting dividend yield on this one, 5.23%. X dividend date was November 24th. Looks like they're going to pay out or is coming up on November 24th. So two days from now, Friday, uh, looks like they're going to pay out on December 4th. And one year target, at least according to Yahoo Finance, of $101 speaks to some potential upside appreciation in the stock price. And if you were to buy them now, you could collect that 5.23% dividend yield. Actually, you would have needed to buy them today or own them today to be in line for this next dividend. The X dividend date being on Friday, you need to buy the day before or sooner before the X dividend date. If you buy on the X dividend date, you will not get the next dividend. Uh, tomorrow is not a trading day. It is Thanksgiving, so you would have needed to buy them or own them today. Now, I'd like to get into statistics and see if there is potential undervaluation here. To do that, we're going to look at dividend yield theory. We go into statistics. We go down to dividends and splits. We look at their five-year dividend yield average, 5.09%. We compare it to its current, 5.23%. Over here, forward annual dividend, 5.23%, same number. And since it is higher than their five-year average, that speaks to some undervaluation, at least according to dividend yield theory. Payout ratio is getting up there, but it meets the criteria. I look for 75% or less. That gives them a little bit of a buffer if they run into trouble or want to continue to pay down debt, want to continue to buy back shares. It gives them some room to increase that dividend over time. Now, I also like to get into financials. A lot of good information under financials. You can find their income statements, their balance sheet, their debt to equity ratios. What is their margin doing? Is it growing? Is their revenue growing? Are they paying down debt? We're going to look at free cash flow because to have growing dividends, you're going to need growing free cash flow. That is what dividends are paid out of. So we went back to 2019. 
and we see 2.2 billion here in free cash flow. 2020, a drop down to 1.4 billion. 2021, big jump back up to 5.7 billion. And 2022, 4.2 billion. To date so far in 2023, looks like 3.5 billion. Looks like they're going to match or beat what they did in 2022. So overall from 2019, even though this is a bit of a cyclical company here, there is growing free cash flow over time. They are also repurchasing their own shares, as you can see here on this line above. Now, I always recommend more than one source. So another one that I like is stockanalysis.com. You pick any sources that you like. I know there's other ones out there. Some people like Seeking Alpha, uh, stockanalysis.com. I really like Yahoo Finance. You know, Bing has, I mean, there's a bunch of different sources out there. Just make sure you're picking more than one so that you can make sure the information you are getting is accurate and up to date. Now, according to the 15 stock analysts that stockanalysis.com has, take a look at this. They call it a consensus buy. They have a low estimate of $90. It currently sits a little bit above their lowest estimate. So if it was to drop down to their lowest estimate, that would be a 5.22% decrease in the stock price. An average estimate of $102.93. That was pretty much in line with what we saw with Yahoo Finance's one-year projected uh, cost basis for the stock price. That's an 8.39% increase in the stock price if it does hit their average. And if it happened to hit their high of $116, that would be a 22.16% increase in the stock price. All the while, again, you could collect that 5 plus percent dividend yield. Now, I like to get into statistics here. Going to find the same information, just presented in a little different manner. They also go back a little bit further than uh, Yahoo Finance does. That's why I like this site. And I like to look at return on equity and return on invested capital to see how a company is returning capital back into its own business, and how well they're using the cash in their business. And return on equity, I like 10% or better. And return on invested capital, 10% or better as well. This return on equity sitting at 17.7% beats the metric I'm looking for. And return on invested capital, same thing, 10.14%, just slightly over the 10% I am looking for on this one. Now, I also like to look at earnings per share growth. I usually like 5% or better. And they did not have it for some reason on this one. So I need to do a little bit more research and make sure that this meets the metric that I'm looking for here. So far, overall, on Lionel Basil, I like all the metrics. Uh, I would like it to pull back here a little bit more. We'll see that here in a minute. Let's keep going and look at why I say that. And it is because currently at $94.95, it is over my cost basis of $87.88. I am up on this position 8.06%. I have $10,000 $10,043.34 into the position. It's currently worth $10,851. So I know I say I'm up, but I'm only up or down if I was to sell the position. I don't, I'm not looking to sell the position. So right now that is a unrealized gain. Just like if I was in the red, it would be an unrealized loss. Again, you only make money or lose money when you sell and book the profits or book the losses. I'm not looking to sell out of Lionel Basil. So right now, even though I'm up, that doesn't really mean anything. And I am waiting for more of a pullback. If it dips below my cost basis of $87.88, I'll add to this position. Since it is above that right now, I am not looking to add to this one. Though it is starting to look attractive again. And that's another reason I wanted to look at it. As we saw before, I think we saw a 69% payout ratio. This says 71. Let's just call it 70%. It's still under the 75% that I'm looking for payout ratio, but it is starting to creep up there. So it is one to keep an eye on. And this dividend growth, I'm just going to say is off 40.74%. And let's look at why I say that. Let's first look at dividend growth over time. We went back to 2020. It was paying $1.05. June 4th, 2021, they raised it up to $1.13. Now here's where it gets funky. Last year, June 3rd, 2022, they paid this special dividend and I did receive this. Big jump up, very nice to receive this special dividend. Was my best, best month last year whenever they paid this out. But they paid out a special dividend of $6.39 which affected this dividend growth. So that really artificially raises that quite a bit. And, but they did raise the dividend August 26th of 2022 after the special dividend up to $1.19. And then again in May 2023 to $1.25. So I would expect another dividend raise, not of 40% in 2023, probably around May, but more in line with what they've been doing. Maybe call it a you know a nickel to, to dime. They're looking to raise it every time, but I would not expect another $6.39 unless they pay out another special dividend, which is possible. But that dividend growth has been artificially inflated due to this special dividend payout last year. 
This is the vested interest stock screener. This is how I set up the videos. It's also how I look at companies on a high level. That's how I walk through the videos with you Monday through Friday on, Friday on the Stock Pick of the Day series. So if you like these kind of videos, hit that like button down below. Share with anyone you think might find value. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of, of uh, uh, Lion Do Basil. And most importantly, hit the subscribe button. Join us on this journey to financial freedom. Join the vested interest community. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell down below. It really does help a small YouTube channel like me. Well, that is really it for this one. Again, happy Thanksgiving to all of you and your family out there. Hope you have a great day. Don't eat too much turkey. Uh, some football games going on. Go Lions. I am a Lions fan. Uh, really, really, they are doing great this year. Uh, hopefully, don't jinx it. Knock on wood. I'm going to knock on wood for them. I'm really looking forward to watching them tomorrow. And if you're a football fan, an NFL fan, let me know what team you support down below in the comment section below as well. Love to hear from you. As always, appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button. Again, join us on this journey to financial freedom. Join the vested interest community. Building a community of like-minded dividend growth investors so I can share companies and stocks like this one and get the word out that dividend growth investing, in my opinion, is the best way to reach financial freedom and get out of the rat race. Remove yourself from that daily nine to five grind everyone is stuck in. Uh, that is really my overall goal. Hopefully it's your overall goal as well to be able to use your time and do the things that you want to do with your life while providing for your family from the dividends in a dividend portfolio uh, now, I do personally read and respond to the comments. I'm always interested to read your questions, opinions, or suggestions for future topics. So if you have a company like Lionel Basil you'd like me to cover in the Stock Pick of the Day series, go ahead and drop it down below, and I'll work it in the rotation. I do have several others that I need to get videos out on. I will focus on those next week. So tune back in. For those of you who have given suggestions, tune back in next week. I'll try to work those suggestions into the videos next week. Well, that is it. This is Shane signing off. Wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm sharing my opinion and investing your journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can lose money. You should never invest any amount of comfortable losing. Always do your own research. Invest based on your situation, circumstances, and select criteria, or seek the advice counsel of a certified financial advisor.